Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today I'm gonna show you how I put a Death Star on my roof. I started with a sheet of half inch plywood and I didn't get pressure treated because it has to dry out before you can paint it. And the painting will help seal this anyway. I drew a circle by making a makeshift compass. I just measured in two feet from the bottom and from the sides and added a nail. Then just used some string and a pencil to draw a circle. With the circle in place, I started drawing a Santa hat and realized that I didn't really have any idea how it should look, so I had to do several tries. But once I got one figured out, I went back over the final lines that I wanted to keep with a Sharpie. This helps when you go to cut it so you don't accidentally cut the wrong lines. Some people really like the jigsaw, I really don't. It's just my least favorite tool to use, but in this case, it was the easiest way to get all those different curves cut out. It left a pretty rough finish on the edges, so I ran over it with a sander just to get rid of the spiky stuff. This is going to be seen at a distance, so the details don't really matter and it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. I covered the whole thing front and back with some gray exterior paint. I got the cheapest paint I could get and just got gray. With the back done and the edges, I did the front section of the gray, but I made sure not to cover any more area than I needed to. It took a few coats of red to get a thick enough covering on the hat. Then I had to sketch on the details, and I just did lines kind of like you would see on a globe, latitude and longitude. Then I took some of my gray paint, put it in a cup, and added some black craft paint to it just to darken it up a little bit. I used this slightly darker gray to do the first layer of detail. I did the equator and then the big dish. After that I poured some of that into a smaller cup and added even more black so I had a third color. I just added another layer of detail in different places and tried to make sure that the curves would match what would look like a sphere rather than a flat circle. With all that dry, I just finished off the hat with some white craft paint. Now this is acrylic paint, but I'm going to cover it later to seal it on so it doesn't wash away with some rain. I want to take a quick second to thank SmartThings for sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with SmartThings, it's a really cool system of devices that all connect together wirelessly and they let you monitor and control stuff in your house from a smartphone. The things I personally use the most are the outlets. When you plug things into these outlets, you can control them from your phone or you can have things automated. For instance, I have a motion sensor in my office and so it knows if I'm in the office or out of the office and it turns on a lamp based on whether I'm there or not. So I don't have to worry about walking in and getting to the light switch before I trip over something so you can automate things like that or you can control them all directly from the smartphone. It's really handy this time of year if I leave the house and I forgot to turn the Christmas lights on all I gotta do is pull up my phone and turn them on. So if you're interested in smart things I'll put a link to them down in the description you can go check them out find a way to automate some stuff in your house. I cut down some scraps of pressure treated plywood that I had and added a big hinge to one side. I laid the Death Star down and added the other side of that hinge to the back bottom of the Death Star. By now the white paint was dry, so I covered it with a clear coat of polyurethane just to seal it on. I cut down another piece of scrap plywood and then added a hinge to one end. I flipped it around and over and added a third hinge on the opposite side. I set it in place and screwed it down to the bottom board and the back of the Death Star. On the sides of the Death Star I drilled some small holes and put in eyes. These are going to help secure it once it's on the roof. On the back side of the house, on each end of the roof, I added another eye. The hinges make it really easy to flatten this thing for storage or for moving it, and in this case, carrying it up onto the roof. Once I had it up there, I just screwed it back together and sat it in the place that I wanted. I ran a line from each side of the Death Star back to the opposite corner of the house. Each one of these got tied with a knot called a taut line hitch, and it lets you slide the rope to tighten it. I could tighten one side, and then tighten the other, and adjust the first one if needed. I added a bag of sand just to keep this thing in place. I set up my lightsabers, and done. Of course I realize that this is not interesting for everybody, but hopefully you found something useful in it. In my house, we love Star Wars and we love Christmas, so this was kind of a big deal for me and my kids. I know a lot of people may have expected me to do a big Arduino-based light system or something, and I would love to try that sometime, but this year I just did not have time. Maybe next year. I've got a lot of other projects of all different types that you might be interested in right here, and I want to see some stuff that you're working on. If you have a really cool Christmas display that you've put up, I would love to see it. You can post it on my Facebook wall, tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I'd love to see that stuff. That's it for this one, guys. I'll see you next time.